Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Some IRS Taxpayer Assistance Centers open on select Saturdays for in-person help. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. This administration is doing worse than expected. Below average. They should at least be able to perform at sea level. Given the fact that they're clearly a bunch of pirates. Watching them deal with the economy, foreign policy, and those pesky boogers that keep reappearing. It's like watching a rather dim-witted pirate lose all his gold. And by his gold, I of course mean our gold playing cards. His biggest problem being, he just keeps sitting on the deck, staring blankly at all those depressing marks on his report card, imagining all the wonderful adventures he could have. If only he could reach the seven seas. COVID tax tip 2022-35 March 7, 2022 to help people during this year's filing season, many IRS taxpayer assistance centers across the country will have special Saturday hours. These centers provide taxpayers with in-person help. The TACs are open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. local time, March 12th, April 9th, and May 14th. No appointments are required. Taxpayers can receive walk-in help on all services. However, the TACs will not accept cash payments on these Saturdays. During the extra operating hours, people can also ask about reconciling advanced child tax credit. There's a link to that here. Payments and receive other help. Taxpayers should visit the face-to-face -face Saturdays help page. There's a link to that here of irs.gov to see which TACs will be open on select Saturdays. TAC services, the contact your local office tool on irs.gov, there's a link to that here, helps taxpayers find the closest IRS TAC, the days and hours of operation, and a list of services provided. While tax return preparation is not a service offered at IRS TACs during regular hours or during these Saturday hours, uh, the following free resources are available to help most taxpayers prepare and file their 2021 federal tax returns anytime. Any individual or family earning $73,000 or less in 2021 may use tax software through IRS Free File. So there's a link to that. It'll basically sort out the tax softwares that might be available to you and then go to the third party software that has those offers of, if, of free software if you have certain conditions being met. Uh, there are products in English and Spanish. Free help preparing tax returns is available at Volunteer Income Tax Assistance or Tax cons Counseling for the elderly sites. To find the closest free tax filing preparation help, taxpayers can use the VITA locator tool. There's a link to that here or call 800-906-9887, 800-906-9887. Taxpayers can use the AARP site locator tool. There's a link to that here or call 888-227-7669, 888-227-7669 to find the closest TCE site. Generally, the income limit for VATA assistance is $58,000. Taxpayers should bring the following when visiting ATAC. Current government issue photo identification, social security cards or individual taxpayer identification numbers. There's a link to that here for members of their household, including spouse and dependents, if applicable. Any IRS letters or notices received and related documents. IRS staff may also request the following information, a current mailing address, an email address, bank account information to receive payments or refunds by direct deposit. Direct deposit is the safest and most convenient way to receive a tax refund. Taxpayers who don't have a bank account should visit the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Link to that here. There's, it's a website for details on opening an account online. They can also use the FDIC's bank find tool to find an FDIC insured bank, bank on, bank uh, American Bankers Association, independent community bankers of America, and National Credit Union Administrations. Links to all those resources here have lists of banks and credit unions that allow people to open an account online. Veterans can use Veteran Benefits Banking Program, there's a link to that too, to learn about financial services at participating banks. IRS staff will schedule appointments for a later date for individuals who need sign uh, to need sign language interpreter services. 
Foreign language interpreters will be available. The IRS follows Centers for Disease Control Social Security Distancing Guidelines. There's a link to that here. Hopefully those are relaxed enough that you can at least open some of these centers. So that's, you know, that's, that's an improvement. So in any case, for COVID and availability may change without notice. People are required to wear face masks and social distance at these events. People who need to pay their federal taxes with cash can visit irs.gov for payment options. There's links to some of that information here. There'll be a link to this in the description.